Yellow. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Now it's now I'm too tall. Now I'm too short. Oh, this is awkward. I hate this part. Now I'm just right. Hey, everybody. Well, that was awful, wasn't it? Wasn't that just goddamn awful? It sure was. Do you think there's even a 5% chance that it'll be like a five out, five, uh, 7 out of 10? Yeah, probably not. Probably not. Hey, hold up a sec. Hey, we're back. That's a new recording. Now I look really smart. All right. You gonna pay for early access? You know I have to. I'll, I'll take that bullet so most of you don't have to. All right, let's thank some people. Super C37 kicked in a sub. Thanks, Super C. Man, it sucks that Withering Waves on PC is so ass. Cons oh, hold on, I gotta do this. There we go. Uh, considering it's actually way better than Genshin in nearly every way possible. Like, a si like shit, a single four-star has the tech and depth of two to three five-stars from Genshin. It's a game that actually feels like it was made by character action junkies. Now X-Bob is cut off. Is that where he lives? Is, is that not how he... Paige moved him! Page moved him to be less dangerous. There we go. Also, think of it's funny the game runs better on my phone than my shit ass PC. That is a little strange. Jebo Tech subs. So did Dead Jotter, who said, Yo, thank you. Satoma subs says, At least Silent Hill Ascension is funny bad. Yeah. Kai 9 kicked in five. So that's two good games and an okay show, I guess. But hey, wow, having a Japanese studio you can actually support is a good thing, huh, Sony? Astrobot looks considerably more interesting than Concord. It definitely does. Stradio Tie 2 sub says that was a state of play, huh? Sure was, buddy. Sure was. Oh, Paige didn't rotate her chair back. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Oh, no. Sorry, X Bob. Blastio Boots kicked in five bucks. If you want the stream to run better, just run Genshin alongside it. <sighs> Iggy Steve sub, thank you. So to Mass Holtz is the Blueberry SH2 remake. Looks like a Unity Asset Flip game. I think that's a bit much, personally. But why not? Fuck it. Goose Garland sub says, Poop Man beats wife live on stream. Thank you for stream. You're welcome. Great Scanardo sub says, Mr. Mo Mrs. Boivin, please. No. Zoku Zoichi sub. Thank you. Erie kicked in 1350. Thanks, Erie. Pat, you know you're not taking anything for the backlog, but I recommend Scald against the Black Priory. It's a CRPG in the classic variety, taking a lot of inspiration for Ultima 6 and 7 and Eye of the Beholder. I love Eye of the Beholder. Legend of Grimrock came out, and it made me really upset that that game doesn't scale to higher resolutions. Oh... Hmm. That. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I'll wish list it. Legend of Grimrock 1 and 2 are great, but, like, when you put them at high resolutions, the, the, the fucking um, interface just becomes unusably small. If, if there was a way to fix that, I would actually be, like, significant. I would go back and play them. Oh, hey guys, I gotta take care of something. I'll be right back.
Hey, I'm back. Fat Bird T Rex sub. Thanks, man. Pat, have you been keeping up with Silent Hill Ascension? There's an orgy and the kids get knives. Clearly, all Silent Hill junk's going well. Great. Grimlock Fly kicked in 500 bits to say Silent Hill is bad and should feel bad. It should and always has, but still. Box button sub. So did Super Rider in RPG Chicago. Thank you. Mildly eccentric gifted five subs. Thank you, mildly eccentric. I thank you. I love you. Why come a pig boy? Give me the subs for my slot. Thank you. This is my job now. Super casual boom sub. Thank you. Enjoy the Sony Cinematic Universe where high quality one player games and wait, there's more games than single player content. Yeah. Yeah. Odd one out. Kicked in five bucks. Thank you. Silent Hill Ascension is a huge convoluted dumpster fire and only worth watching if you want to be disappointed and watch a train wreck. If it wasn't for the eye patch wolf, I wouldn't be watching it. I was kind of waiting for it to be completely finished. But hey. Anonymous kicked in five bucks. Y'all just need to play Silent Hill 2 Enhanced Edition on PC instead. If only that was illegal. The giant rat that makes all the rules subscribe. I'm still weirded out by the fact that my mom still has me and my sister's baby teeth. Please tell me you won't be tooth collector parents. I don't know. I don't know what we'll do with the kids' teeth. I'll probably keep them and make them into a doll. Bruiser kicked in a sub. Hooray for cringe and pain. Feed me more, orb couple. Okay, don't don't worry about it. Saudi kicked in a sub. Hey guys, but haven't been around much. I'm getting married September. Hey, congrats, bud. This life's been pretty crazy. Hope you've been well. Also, fuck Konami. Mm -hmm. Queequeg kicked in a thousand bits. Thanks, Queequeg. In lieu of this game, you could just buy Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion HD renovation for yourself and like six other people. A game I beat today. Pat tells Sheena she did a good job. She knows she did, but thank you. I, there's a fix for Grimrock at high resolution displays, but it's just running at 1080p on a big screen instead of 4K natively. Is that really the solution? Is just run the game at 1080p? Thank you for the subscription, AOTOCORP. That's one of those things that really annoys me is games that they scale their interface because their their interface is 2D assets and they just scale them with resolution. And they're like, well, no, people are going to play at uh, 720 or 1080 and that's it. And it's like, brother, brother in Christ. James Silent Hill kicked in five bucks. Thanks, James Silent Hill. I need to find my wife so she can jork my pants. She called me a fart face, Pat. I'm going to stunt on her. Pat, the hole is totally going to be in there in the remake. I'm calling it now. I mean, you see it in the in the trailer, so yeah. Kicking kicked in five bucks. Thanks, Kicking. Sorry, Paige. Oh, I got to send this to her. I'm going to send this to her. Don't worry. I'll send it. And I will, I will, I will relay that shit. People are putting together the wilds. is basically for you too. Same characters and all. Um, Monster Hunter for you is the best Monster Hunter game. So that makes me really excited. So yeah, sorry, I miss. Sorry, Paige, I phrased that poorly. I do want camp, just not historical, dry, serious musicals like Rocky Horror or Strange Magic. Is what I'm looking for. You said the opposite of what you wanted. hoo sub. Thanks, hoo -ah. Axologic sub. I'm likely the only person interested in whatever the hell is going on with Dynasty Warriors. Seems to be a set protagonist with the ability to order troops. Is this going to be closer to the direction I wanted decades ago? Likely not. That aside, Silent Hill 2 coming out on my birthday is a cruel joke. It might be. Robo Token subs is looking forward to the Xbox showcase in a few days. Hopefully we get more avowed, I'm sorry, avowed. Maybe Fable in the Outer Worlds too. Definitely not Outer Worlds too. Uh, maybe Avowed. And Matt Fate kicked in a sub. Says, I bet X-Bob was happy seeing Sony flop like that. They're saving everything for their next console announcement. That's what Pat thinks. All right, shit fucks. Let's finish fucking Crow Country, bitches. You fucking shits. I deleted it off my goddamn... Oh, no, there it is. I'm adding this game to my fucking favorites. This game rules. 
Oh, hold on. I have to... I have to change my, uh... I have to change this. Yeah, you should buy this game, Third Wells. It's good. It's good game. You should play it. It's good to it's good to play. Oh, thanks for the sub supplanter ninety seven. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's cheap and it's good. Yeah, now I got the sound, bitches. <laughs> hey, guess what? Uh, I was running into some, some weird control issues in Crow Country when I was playing it. Um, and I was like, that's weird. Um, I wonder why that is, right? Uh, and I've discovered something. Games that natively support a PlayStation 5 controller... Um, uh, double up on inputs when uh, you use um, Steam input. And you can tell because when I load this shit up, it actually has PlayStation fucking buttons. I was running into that problem in Ghost of Tsushima. So, why? Well, I don't know. So, by the way, this morning, I woke up, and I went, and I took care of all the stuff that I shouldn't have done. I think I got a ca slight camera desync. No. Um. No. Um. Steam input is a cure-all, but when there's when it officially supports this, there's no real need. Um, anyway, point being, I did all the stuff that I needed to do. I got the gold key, I cleared out some of the areas, I visited the route, etc. So, all 15 done. Now to continue, we're gonna go back downstairs and explore the route. Now, one thing that you should know is that I'm down to a single handgun bullet. How? I used... I shot things. I kept a lot of health this time. Um... But, uh... What uh, and uh, just to be clear, I turned off the acid this time around. So we're going to go around and we are going to examine the root locations that I didn't see last time. Also, I'm noticing there's even fake ammunition on the floor now, which is awesome. Fake ammo, that's great. So that's the trip upstairs. That is a fake health pack because it's purple. That's real shotgun shells. This is the Sunday route. Map of the underground area, thank you. This is where the power generator is. 
Calibration route one, Sunday preserve. So this is the only route that has not fucky wuckied. Hey Ed, you get my rock shipment? Why don't you answer the phone? What's going on over there? Some kind of machine. Looks like a generator. Seems ancient. Wonder what it's powering. Actually, I know how, I have no idea how to turn it off. Looks fragile. Maybe I can just destroy it. I'm now out of handgun ammo. Oh, you know what that destroyed? The electrified door to Crow's... Um... To Crow's, um... There were items in that room? Oh my god, I'm blind. Thank you. All right, let's keep it rolling. So that directly above me is Crow's office. Oh, this sucks that I don't have. What's that? It's a hatch. I can't get into it. Looks like some kind of high-tech bomb. Display changed. Huh. I don't know what that shit means. Well, I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing. Might have to find a different way in. Mr. Trumbull, what are you doing down here? Hey, kiddo, what's shaking? Still looking for Crow. Ain't we all, ain't we all? Why are you looking for him? Well, how should I put this? Just need a little help with something, I, uh... He's on the run from Brazilian authorities. Came back here to hide. Shut your trap, Tolman, you self-righteous old busybody. Why don't you make me tremble? Bloated old gas bag. So what happened in Brazil? Crow and I were running a little op, you see. Somewhat duplicitous in nature, I guess you could say. We were selling the gold, right? The gold from the roots? Oh, you've been reading up on me, have you? Why go all the way to Brazil to sell it? It's like too much of a good thing, you know what I mean? No? Oh, well, you see, the gold we scooped out of the roots, right? It's too pure. There's too much of it. Why is that a problem? Crow didn't want anyone connecting the gold back to his land. He didn't want the U.S. government looking into where it was coming from. I was telling the story, Tolman, you uppity old bastard. Oh, you're doing a shit job of it, Tremble. You worthless old junkie. So at least before you got in trouble, you must have been making a lot of money, you and Crow. You could say that. Why come back here at all? Why not just go live on a desert island? They went and seized my assets, didn't they? All of it. It's all frozen unless I show my face in court. Answer all their lovely questions. Let me guess, Crow kept his name off the paperwork? So he gets to keep his share of the money? Is that why you really came back? To make sure Crow gets dragged down with you? Ha, <laughs> she really sussed you out. Only took her two minutes. Put your cack in the Tolman, you arrogant old snob. I'll have you all I like, Trumbull, you dopey old clown. What do you make of them? What do I make of what? The roots. Big green tubes? Those are the roots? Why are they called that? That's just what Crow named them. What are they made of? Outer shells, mostly copper. Over the inner core is 24 karat gold. Pure as there is. As you all know, Trumbull, you piteous old lech. Shut up, Tolman, you traitorous old cretin. All the machinery, the big circular saw, it's for... Call it root excavation. Although harvesting might be a more accurate term. Roots are cut into shorter segments, which are lifted up to the surface. All this just to get the gold? Correct Amanda. She wasn't talking to you, Trumbull, you heinous old parasite. Bite me, Tolman, you pompous old jackass. Or you really should get out of here. Can't leave now, I'm so close. Close to what, exactly? Do you even know? Listen, I know you want to... Don't bother with this pep talk, she doesn't care. Quiet down, Trumbull, you greasy old halfwit. Don't talk to me like that, Tolman. You cantankerous old sea sponge. Fair face. Interesting. 
I don't have anything I can use to shoot these fucking... These open. So that sucks. Phone for kicking. What does that mean? Oh, hey! Please tell Kicken that if they want campy musicals in the specific vein of both Rocky Horror and Strange Magic, they need to check out Repo the Genetic Opera, Starlight Express, Xanadu, and Bat Boy. Oh wow, his head came off. I got him. Fucking hell. I hate this bitch. Wait, I was able to get past him, no problem. Come on, bitch. Wait, are you stuck? Are you stuck? Holy shit, he is fucking stuck. Well then. Hell yeah. Right now we're fucking doing it. We're fucking doing it, pussies. Southeast. Route Tuesday. Let's hit it. Okay. This is gross. What kind of machine is this? Maybe yeah, I can turn it on and see what it does. Swart up the machine on the opposite side. That was underwhelming. Maybe there's something between the clamps? Electrocution, huh? Do I have anything that needs extra electricity? Guess not yet. Huh. That route's retracted. This area is so cool! What a good underground area! That's fake! That is a fake handgun ammo! That is a lie! Fucking bitch. I wonder if these these placements are like randomized based on what I need. Cause so far the ammo distribution in this game is perfect. I've never encountered it with randomized shit. It's perfect. Hell yeah, I got two for the price of one. No, I didn't. Shit. <gasps> the bicycle. A 
All right. All right, I figured out. Okay. Let's roll. Is that another map? A save room. Well, that's useful. Thank you, handgun. Thank you. Wednesday, full of woe. Interesting. Maybe everything will be okay. And maybe it won't. What a great save game thing. Hey, bro. Is that a computer? Harrison, what are you doing? It's not safe down here, you know. Yeah, I know. I got chased by some kind of creature, I think. Did it touch you? Did it? No, no, I got away just about. Ran in here to get hot, to get out of the way, you know. Right, good idea. There's this big gas fan. I thought, okay, maybe I can be at use. Maybe I can turn this off. Yeah, how's that going? Bad. I don't know how to do it. The drive is too complicated. I don't get it. It's okay. I'm sure you can do it. I'll help you out, okay? Gas. Thick, smelly gas. I can't. 50 for success on manual override. Finally ran into Natalie. Oh, you did? How'd that go? Weird. She was acting weird. I think she might be ill. She didn't seem to want to talk to me. Well, told me I should just go home. Harrison, sorry, but she's right. You should. You're not going to tell me what's going on, are you? Ideally, no. Mara, I'm concerned. Don't be. Screen's cracked, but it seems to work. Use that disc. Fuck! Uh, 50, huh? 15. I did it. Crushed it. Hey, you did it. Yep. Pretty smart, huh? Sure am. So modest. We should leave. Good idea. Are you gonna come with me? Not yet, sorry. Alright. Remaining locations is going to be the west end of the Aqua Zone as well as Crow's Office. So that's gonna be the northwest uh, sorry, southwest and northeast. Since I'm in the southwest already. Skip Saturday route? Did I? Sunday route. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I guess I did. I just completely forgot it. So, I'd like... Should I go to... Hmm, should I go to Crow's office first? That's the question. Or should instead I go... To the Aqua Room? Oh, well this one's... Well, that's pretty fucking disappointing. There's nothing in here. Oh. 
<laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Okay! Fake. Sad. Huh. Wood model. Top layer is supposed to be grass. Bottom layer looks more like soil or rocks. Oh, that'd be... That would be what the roots look like. I see. Saturday. Works hard. I don't know why I'm doing this on every single one of these, but I'm doing it. Well, I would like to te- oh. So, there's Crow's office, and then there's the bottom left. I don't know which one I want to go. First. I think Crow being actually in his office is extremely unlikely. So, we'll go to his office first. That being said, unfortunately, his office is super dangerous. So we'll just have to... ...hope we don't get fucking killed. Yeah, this is, uh... I just realized what that guy's holding. He's holding a root. Well, that worked out. Hopefully there's some goddamn ammunition in here. Golden keyhole? Eat shit. I'm in there, bitch. I feel like it's unlikely to have monsters in here because the game has, like, this has been sealed the whole, the whole game. You know? Hello? You know, I never had a plan for all the gold. In fact, quickly became a problem. Couldn't sell it, basically, not without arousing a lot of unwanted attention. Yet too much, too quickly, in the shape, the cylinders. That's well, not the normal process, is it? Then I had an idea. What if it was the normal process? What if we pretended it was? So Marvin and I devised a plan. We needed a site, a disused gold mine. Marv found one in South America, in Brazil. And you know what? It worked. For a while, at least. TV every few moments something flashes on the screen. I wish it wouldn't. Statue. She's quite beautiful and made entirely of gold. Jacqueline Crow. 1948-1982. Beloved wife and mother. It's a photograph. Something strange about the frame. Holy fucking shit. Squirming back and forth. Is it a lion? Diary of Edward Crow, ten and a half. 
I'm so excited. Tomorrow, Father and I are going to be camping up in Condor count Country, over the river. Father says it's just a nickname. There are no condors in Georgia. I'm looking forward to the trip, nevertheless. I love being outdoors at night. Father and I found something strange while camping. Green shiny thing sticking out of the ground. It's wriggling back and forth like a little bug. The father says it's not a bug, as it's made of metal. We found a second wriggling metal thing, a couple hundred feet south of the first one. Father wanted to know what it was made of. He cut the tip with his camping knife. Inside's a different metal. It's like gold. Two more shiny things, four in total. Father says there may be more. Father bought Condor Count Tree. So there's a couple of other acres on either side. Said he could re rename it if we wish. I bet this is the first one they found. <sighs> That's good. Hi, Natalie. How are you feeling? Not great. Yeah, me neither. Is it your mom? Yeah. She died some time ago. Sorry. It's a beautiful statue. It's solid gold. It must have been very expensive. Your dad really spared no expense, I guess. Did you find him yet? Mr. Crow? No, not yet. Still looking for your father. But I have a pretty good idea where he is. Just need to take the central elevator. Mar, what are you gonna do when you find him? You need to talk with him. Are you gonna kill him? What? No, of course not. Don't think I don't see that gun in your hand. I see it in your face, too. You've already made up your mind, Natalie. I know he's done bad things. Very bad things. Perhaps he's beyond forgiveness. But, may, but please, don't kill him. Bring him to me, okay? Let me speak to him. One way or another, today may be my last chance. Please, Mara. Okay. Emory University recognition of the completion of the prescribed course of study. Edward Crow has been in to the degree of biochemistry. Hey, Ed, we didn't pass the inspection. They figured out that the ore is homemade. The Brazilian authorities want to know where the gold's really coming from. It's getting too dangerous. I'm coming back to Georgia. See you soon. Tomorrow. Control room elevator switch number code. First is... Control room elevator switch number My first is in Grinner, but also in Goblin. My second in Guest, but not in Puddle or Spindle. My third is in Lumber and Goblin, but not in Puddle. My fourth is notable only by its absence. Hmm. Time to save the fucking game. Oh my fucking god. They have names. Guest. Emerged at around 50% root excavation. It varies from specimen to specimen. Largely retain a human-like appearance. Most distressing, they're capable of limited, non-verbal vocalization. There are so many. These are labeled in the thousands. Goblin, merged at 55%. Despite their small stature, I've concluded they are not infants. On the contrary, they may be a senior variant of the guest. Advanced age causing a weaker genetic makeup, which has diminished their anatomy upon emergence. Spindle, 60% root excavation. Much of their muscle and fat is missing, but their bones have become elongated. However, the bone and mass is spread more thinly, and consequently, the bones are brittle. Additionally, without sufficient flesh as cushioning, their joints are weak. Lumber, 60% root excavation at the same time as the spindles. Here, the opposite phenomenon can be observed. Lumbers are stiff and stout with excessive muscle and fat. Perhaps this can explain why the spindles have insufficient flesh. Rinner, 70% root excavation. Their form is bipedal, though other similarities to a human body are quickly disappearing. In terms of anatomy, each specimen is vastly different from the next. Puddle. 80% root excavation. I pray this is my final entry, for I cannot imagine how anything beyond this point would be capable of emergence. The puddles experience widespread cell necrosis. They are quite literally melting. My first is in Grinner, but also in Goblin.
Hold on. Before we do this puzzle, I'm gonna check out this room. Holy fuck. Video feed of security camera. That's my car. Looks like Arthur's still inside. Can you hear me? Mara, is that you? I can't see you. Where are you? I'm in a control room. Control room? Is that... Is it cool? Yeah, that's really cool. I'm jealous. You got to go on a real adventure. Arthur, how are you feeling? Not great. Just stay there, okay? You coming back? We gonna leave? <sighs> yeah. I'll be back soon. Okay, good. Feed from the security camera. Showing something on the screen. It's moving. Hello? What do you what are you? What do you want? Didn't respond. Crow County elevator power grid. One of the lights is red, the other are green. Ah, I see. I see. Can't move it. Five three five one. back to this. So the first one's nine. Guest, but not in Puddle or Spindle. 37 62. 37 62. So three and six. Seven and two. It's two. It's nine, two. Third is lumber and goblin, but not in pop. Not in So thirty-seven ninety-three can't be. Uh, is that lumber and goblin? Lumber and goblin. Right. Thirty-seven ninety-three. Isn't that? Sorry, thirty-nine seventy-three. Oh, it's got to be one. It might be four. Yeah, it's one. So nine, two, one. And then my fourth is notable only by its absence. So the only number that's not available. One, three, four, seven. One, three, four. One, three, four, five, seven. One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine. So I'm looking for eight or six. There's a six. It's eight. It's nine, two, one, eight. Lever inside. All lights are green. Oh, fuck. There's nothing there. Oh, fuck! By the way, you turn around- ah!
locked in. Set floor panel code to one, two, three, four, five, six. Huh? Floor panel. Oh! One. Two. If you do the right floor pattern, you incinerate the monster without fighting. Yeah, well. Three. Four. Five. Six. Why don't you come with me? No, don't want to know what's down there. I'll wait here. Someone said if you turn around here, you can literally just see the the code. What do you mean? Oh, it's on normal? Oh, interesting. Alright, so, um, I don't... The shelf? What about it? Why did somebody go pat the shelf? In all caps. Shelf of healing items? Oh my god. So many med kits. I'll just take one. I don't need to take any. Interesting. Okay. Alright, so, it's interesting because, um, the central elevator is unlocked, but I, but I have no way of getting to it, right? So I'll need to go through the Ocean Kingdom. Now, you guys are still dead, huh? That means to me... It's probably a lot easier to go through this than it is. Yeah, looks like these monsters stayed dead. That wasn't a story progress. Save in the lounge. <sighs> lounge saving. What causes monsters to respawn? It appears to be, um, it appears to be um, story progression or objective progression. Like every time you get a key item seems to do it. Uh, I need to go to the bathroom. I don't know what's about a uh, fucking crow country, but it makes me need to shit. So I'll be right back.
go. Go.
Oh my fucking god. I feel like one of the roots, bro, and the gold was falling out. Am I a changed man? Well, there's less of me. Dying. Okay, let's roll. All right, let's go. It's that big bitch is there, right? If I can go through the the game's arcade. Hopefully, the game's arcade is safe. It is. All right, then I can go right to the end of the hall and go through the last door on the right. Wait, no, the last door on the right can't be opened. No need to go talk to that bitch. Well, this is cool as fuck. Can't turn it. Doesn't do anything, but it's a nice feeling having the horizon stretching out in front of you. I do, I feel like I lost weight, thank you. Oh, it's a fake treasure chest. Feeling a very tangible sense of betrayal. Wait, what? Still haven't found the place where I need the goddamn, uh... Trident for the song. Right? Myself, no. Huh. Tried once to get the sea monsters to sing in the restaurant? Oh. I didn't even realize that. This is fun, but can't operate the ride controls from here. Looks like I do have to... Hmm. Hmm. All right. I guess that's go got a gold key then. <laughs> it's a lot. Nailed it. Handgun ammo, hell yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Some old pizza. Old slices of pizza are in there, but I'm not hungry enough to do it. Hello? You're still alive. No, oh, it's dangerous up there. A lot of them got out in the open. I know you brought a gun. I've been. Have you been killing them? Guests? They're in no shape to continue living. The ones that emerged more recently, even more so. As I continued the root excavation, the guests became even less... Well, some of them aren't even bipedal anymore. It goes without saying that we cannot let them leave Crow Country. We can't afford to let them infect anybody else. What are they? Who are they? They're ir irreversible. I like how uh, this fucking nightmare shit is just complete nonsense and unknowable. This must be how you operate the boat ride. I don't see the point in moving the boat if I'm not on it. I can't reach the control panel while I'm standing in the boat. Might need some help with this one.
wonder what's in there. Maybe some ammo? It's pizza. Touche pizza box. Help. Who the fuck? That's right, Julia's nearby. Actually, there is something. You need to get through the boat ride in the Ocean Kingdom. Seven Seas? Yeah, I could use your help to operate the controls. Have you opened the door in the control room? Yeah, it's open. Nice work. I'll head to the control room. You go to the boat boarding. See you there. This game is so awesome, bro. Large battery. That's the last item I need. I need the large battery. Sit down. You ready? Yeah, I think so. Can't guarantee this will be safe. Should I start it? Started. <sighs> White whale's blocking the boat. If I remember right, he's supposed to move out of the way, but I think it's done manually from control panel. Wonder why Julie didn't press it. Can't see a way to open it. You can shoot the fake items? What's the point? Do you get stuff out of it? Two. for killing enemies. Well, that's cool. Biggest, most ornate switch I've ever seen. Oh. Pretty. Shit. What's this? It's blood. These are Julie's glasses. What happened to her? seems to have stopped working. I hope this is not Julie's blood. One. Thank you, uh, Susie, for the Silent Hill 2 remake excitement.
to check inside. Let's open this bitch up. Battery and it's in good condition. Got it. The other ones have ammo? Looks like I'm turning the fuck around then. I guess I just got it correctly on the first try because I'm a fucking genius. Yeah, it's nighttime now. Oh yeah, give me that. Not the battery in here, but it's fucked. Yeah, it would be nice to solve Resident Evil puzzles in this kind of place. Battery? No, it's shotgun shells. Hell yeah. Yeah, like doing like... Some kind of... Adventure module thing. What do you got? Nothing in here. Alright. Got shotgun shells. Alright, let's roll. Hopefully, so it's nighttime, which means uh, we've in a we're in a new style of encounter, which means the areas are no longer safe if I cleared them. For example, Whoa! All right, what are we working with? I need to go. To the right. That's a safe room. Everything, everything will be fine. Maybe it won't. <sighs> Fake. This way. Alright. Let's batterize this shit. Battery. Battery's charged. That's not the way. Now the battery is for the crow, right? In the middle, in the, the dead center? Is that where you put the battery in? I can't remember. You walk up to the crow and put the battery inside it? What's the safest route? Probably Delivery Garage, Ocean Kingdom.
delivery garage was fucked. Yeah, but you know what? what's funny about it? At least I know it's fucked. And I can save in the submarine. Before going out. Didn't take a hit. That's strange. I don't think I've seen a single just sitting around dead guy the whole game. So, if... What? what the hell? Whoa! Oh, that would do it. Would oh, okay! Did it hurt? It didn't hit me. Okay, didn't take a hit. This is as good as it's gonna get. Turn on the elevator behind you. Can you move it out of the way, please? Whoa. Huh. I guess you can't run into them. Hey, Arthur. Police officer come by here? Yeah, he was on a bike. Did you talk to him? Yeah, a little bit. I didn't... Yeah, there are root pieces all over his car. So where do I put the... Where do I put the, the battery? Wooden looks a little different. Ah, here we go. Press the switch. Here we go. Battery this shithead. That'll do. Just like that, he walked out of my life. Bro, this bullet shit making me very, very scary. So I'm not taking any damage. So luckily. making his way out of the park. Don't blame him. Be nice to just walk away. Huh. 
it's fascinating that like you can get shot at, but then you come back here and you can't find who's shooting at you. Let's go. Let's do it. Fucking saved, huh? Oh boy. Oh, this is real fucking bad. Oh my god! <laughs> Good thing I saved the game. Shame I didn't have any, uh. Shame I don't have any uh, grenades. You know what? That's, you know, it's fine. Don't even care. Why does that keep... Why does it keep turning off? <gasps> no! It's Harrison, he's dead. Must have been attacked by those. Wait, no, he was shot. Harrison, I'm so sorry. Harrison James. ID number 05061. Date of birth, January 12th, 1965. Firearms expert. He was put on the Edward Crow missing persons case. Tried to stop him coming to Kirk Country, but he really wanted to help. Shot. So those, uh, oh, okay. Well. It's a bag. It's a grubby old sports bag. It seems familiar somehow. Something in there. Alright. Let's fucking swag in there. Mining lanterns are really old and need replacing. Any kind of spark sets off the oil trapped inside. That happens. Give it a whack to disperse the oil. That should go out. wants from me here. The ID.
What's the only thing I can do? I can shoot things. The idea of my person. What about it? Look at it? <laughs> oh, cute. Tape fell off. I have all the tools I need to solve the lantern puzzle. Do I? It, it can't be as simple as it looks, can it? Oh my god, it does. It is. Not weapons? What do you mean, not weapons? brain dead. Wow, that's... Oh, fuck. Seven. Oh, fuck. What is this joke about ammunition? Hey, Tolman. Wait, what? Tolman, can't let you. Listen, Harrison's dead. Harrison James, the police detective. I know who he is. Sorry, Mara. He shouldn't have come here. It's only a matter of time for one of those creatures. He was shot with a gun. Shit. You know who did it? Oh, I think he's probably got a good idea. Marvin, you fuck! Look, kid, it's nothing personal, okay? Put down the gun, Trumbull. And then what, huh? Go home, forget the whole thing ever happened? The feds will be kicking down my door within the week. Helpable for all this shit. I know. I am too. Mara's not, so leave her out of it. So she knows way too much. You think she won't rat us out? Hell, she already tried. She was getting real chatty with that pretty boy officer. I tried to stop him from coming. I kept telling him to leave. Well, he didn't leave, did he? Neither did you. Now it's too... What was that? No idea. Bullshit. This is some sort of trick. I ain't... Where am I? Yeah! Hell yeah! Julie, hey, what's going on? What are you doing in there? I'll tell you if you help me on out of this thing. Oh gosh, sorry. Tom, would you give me a hand? Sure. Julie, I thought you'd been, I mean, I came out of the boat ride and you were gone, there was blood. Something grabbed me, dragged me backwards into the vent. What was it? 
Whatever it was, there are several more of them hiding out in the pipes. Pitch black in there, but I could hear them, smell them. And what, would they try to kill you? No, mostly they just shook me around, made a bunch of noise. Shouting, weeping, moaning, whatever you'd call it. Sounds about right. What do you mean? They're angry, but they don't want to kill us. They're trying to communicate. Mari, you haven't introduced me. All right, sorry. Julie, this is Tolman. Works for Edward Crow. This is Tolman. This is Julie Barron. She's a lawyer. She was hired by the Marshall family. Elaine Marshall's family. I see. What are you two doing down here? Someone's been killed, shot, police officer. Goodness me. Tolman here was about to go deal with it, weren't you? I, I'll come with you. I have experience with this kind of thing. Good. Okay, thanks, Mara. Something else. Natalie Crow's waiting at Edward Crow's office. Would you go see how she's doing? Crow's daughter? Sure, of course. I'll have a chance to talk to her, actually. You're not. One last thing. Arthur Mole. He's out in the staff parking lot in my white fiesta. Check on him, too? Left him alone for way too long. Of course we can do that. Thank you. Mara, what are you going to do? I'm going to do what I came here to do. We'll be waiting by your car, okay? Okay? Thanks. Come along, Tolman. We got lots to do. Held in place by two chains. Have to do the other one too. Crow. That's the pond, huh? This is where they're emerging. It's a pool of water. Looks so clean. Is that a spring? God, that feels better. Didn't realize how filthy I was. Let's go. Must be the lab. This is where he was calling. Natalie Crow, Edward Crow's daughter. Tolman, the engineer in charge of root excavation. Photo of me. When did he take this? Julie Barron, the lawyer hired by Elaine Marshall's family. To Arthur Mole, teenager, wanted to photograph the guests. Marvin Trumbull, responsible for Crow's fake gold mine. Douglas Pike, in charge of building the theme park. And finally, Harrison James, police officer sent to look for Edward Crow. Set of vials. Five glass vials, same pale green liquid inside. Don't know what they're for. Think I'll leave them alone. It's a shower. It's a lever. Ha. Back to my normal self. Medical cabinet with nothing inside. Fire axe is conspicuously missing. Handgun ammo acquired. Bunsen burner. I used to use these at school. It's a bright blue flame crackling softly. that curtain. It's a bed. It's mostly where Crow's been sleeping. Sheets are stained with blood. Microwave. Med kit. Sealed envelope for Natalie. I won't open it. 
hazmat suit covered in a fine layer of dust. Guess he's not using it anymore. You gotta be kidding me with that joke. All right. Let's save it again. Intercom. Should I talk into what? No, let's leave it for now, shall we? Ah. Relatively simple way to get back to the surface. Doesn't work anymore. But someone's driven a fire axe at the control panel. Alright. Mr. Crow? I'm here. I'm in your lab. Hello, Elaine. Open the door. I will. First, please pick up the glass files I've laid out. Why? Please. Why? Take them. Need to free up some space. Put down the other objects I'm carrying. I won't need them. Huh. Left in their place, all the other items I collected. Police ID card I took from Harrison. Bronze key gave to me by fairy. Crank handle I found in a safe. Ruby gemstone that was hidden in a painting of a demon. The chain I took from the neck of a mechanical swan. Mask I excavated from a block of resin. A trident I took out of a witch's cauldron. Silver key that was hidden in Neptune's palace. The data disc I got from the change machine in an arcade. The acid bottle I took from a cell in a dungeon. The golden key I found trapped inside a fairy's head. The battery I pulled from the stomach of a robotic mermaid. Good times. Infected. The whole game, there has been a heartbeat on this screen, even when it says you're fine. It's because you're not fine. You're not fine. You're infected. I have the files. Open the door. Stand back. Yeah, she's been sick the whole time, ever since the attack two years ago. Flashlight doesn't work anymore. Holy shit! Bro, you look like hell! the side? Yes, I can. But there's nothing to, uh... There's nothing to acquire. Alright, Crow. Elaine Marshall, Edward Crow. How long has it been? Two years? Never met before. No, I mean since you became infected. Two years. Two years since I shut the park. I'm glad you came back. Why would you give a shit? I would offer you a drink, but what are you now, 18? Not quite. And yet you made it all the way down here. You're clearly very stubborn. That's good. Gives me hope. Hope? Tell me, how are you feeling? Bad. Tired. I can't get rid of my infection. It's been getting worse. Of course. I must say I'm relieved they let you out of the hospital long enough to. They didn't. I escaped. I see. You really are determined. And all that because you wanted to kill me, I assume? No. 
the game because I want to tell you something face to face. I need you to know. Go on. Mr. Crow, I'm gonna die from this infection. We tried everything. Nothing works. It's gonna kill me. But I didn't realize you have it too. Same infection? Of course, anyone been exposed to the guests will have it. Naturally, I was the first. When the first guest emerged from the pool, I tried to help him. Put him in a holding cell up on ground level so we could monitor more easily. Holding cell? That's where I was attacked. Yeah, bringing the guests up to the surface proved to be a mistake. But you look worse than I do. I'm simply further along. My continued exposure to the guests has accelerated the process. Continued exposure? Your bloody escapades today may prove to have a similar effect on you. Oh god. Looks bad. What's it like when it gets that bad? I shall not lie to you. Elaine, do you remember when your family asked me to pay your medical fees? Yeah, they're holding you accountable since I was injured in your park. You never paid them. My lawyer's trying to take you to court over them. Yeah, that was a deliberate decision on my part. Knowing the nature of your illness, I knew there could be no cure found at the hospital. Wait. There is a cure. I made one. You have. I had to reverse engineer it. I've been studying the highly infectious bacteria on the dead bodies of the guests. New kinds of bacteria nobody knows about yet. That's been the problem. It's no surprise your doctors were stumped. Those vials from your lab? Yes, you have the cure on your person at the very moment. Five vials, enough to cure five people. Five. Harrison and Marvin are dead. So that leaves you, me, Natalie, Tolman, Julie, and Arthur. That's six. You didn't make enough files. You're wrong there. I shall not be taking the cure. You understand where we are, right? Right now? You call it the pool? Correct. Protruding from its death. The seven roots. What's left of them? After years of you cutting them up, harvesting them for gold. Exactly right. Elaine, look at me. Listen. The pool is a gateway. And the guests are human beings who attempted to travel through it. And emerged here. Why do they look so... Why are they so messed up? Because I've spent the last ten years dismantling the mechanism of that gateway. I don't understand. The pool still works, technically. But thanks to me, it's severely malfunctioning. See, the roots are a kind of calibration antenna. Necessary to accurately and safely transport those who travel through the pool. 2106. Where are they coming from? The guests. What's on the other side of the pool? It's the future. People are traveling back in time from the future. And they're coming out broken. And that's why the disease is so strong. Because it's... Because it's bacteria from 50 years in the future. It's, it's just MRSA from 2106. You understand now that my excavations have been causing the mutations of the guests. Also understand the mutations have been getting worse as I cut down more of the roots. The beings that emerge in the pool now, they barely resemble humans at all. Most of them cannot walk, let alone speak. The first guest to emerge from the pool all that time ago, he was the least. No. Yes, Elaine, he could speak. Just barely. He told me who he was, and why he had come. I wrote it down, word for word, on a little piece of paper. And then, I went back to harvesting the roots. No subsequent guests were capable of speech. You may now understand why I'm choosing not to take the cure. My time is short. Before I die, I must look upon what I have wrought. You're gonna throw the pool, are you? Hold out your hand. What? It's a little piece of paper. 
take it. Now that's in your hands. I'm going through the pool. You'll be mutated. It'll kill you. Fitting end. Perhaps if I'm lucky, I may get a glimpse of what lies on the other side. I have one more thing to ask of you, Elaine. If for any reason I re-emerge from the pool, I want you to kill me. But if I re-emerge, I'll be in no shape to continue living. Do you understand? Goodbye, Elaine. to all the pool. I went to all the roots and I cut an extra piece off of them. I raise a glass to your future. I can't check the note. I can't check the note. I can't check it. Six uninhabitable ruin. Come 1998. 1988. Last chance. Warn. Stop. Change. Stab me here. Oh, fuck. I thought that was gonna... Damn it. Gotcha. <laughs> Elaine. It's... It's... Shut up. I don't wanna know. Elaine. You... You promise. Kill... Yeah, okay. It's over. Only one thing left to do. Curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. And maybe it won't. Wow! Wow! That's great! That's great! That's super good! Wow!
completed. Results? They're bad. 38 heals. 89 kills. Bonus items used? Zero. Found every secret. Saved 33 times. Final rank, C. B plus! I'll take it. I've unlocked the crowbar. You've unlocked secret costume, crow hat, and crossbow. Congratulations. You've unlocked Crow Quest. Crystal crows are hiding around Crow Country. Can you find and shoot them all? I am curious. Five or less heals for the S rank and big heals count for two. Um, so I beat it on Murder of Crows. Does that mean I can get other rankings on danger on survival horror or what have you? Yeah, well, I guess I did it the hard way first. I want to see the intro again. I assume using bonus items fucks up your ranking. 2024. Cute. If anyone, if anyone asks, my name is Mara. Talking to herself. Don't mess it up. Oh, that's oh. this is good stuff in here. This is good. This is good stuff in here, bro. This is good. This is good. The whole game is so, so thematically perfect, like the the radio with a broken antenna, and the um, the. God, the, all the using the heels for the mushroom puzzle is mandatory for S rank. What does that even mean? I don't understand. Bonus items. Hey, where's the costumes? The settings. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that shooting? Is that shooting real gun? So I can kill with this, yes? Let's go kill something. I've, I run so slow now. Full of trash. Oh wow, that's a lot easier, holy fuck. That's a lot of god damn. Twenty one oh six. Bitch. Hey, 
Hey, look at that. I didn't pick up the flashlight, so it moved. What's up, bitches? I wonder if kills count for your ranking. Ugh, oh, it smells so bad like an infected wound. I feel bad killing it. I feel bad leaving it alive, too. Rank is my secrets and heals. Time and saves don't matter. Really? Well, shit. All right. Well, that's Crow Country. That's incredible. That is in. Incredible. Amazing. <sighs> what a what a great game. Okay, so it's not as good as Signalis, but like You know, like it's, it's, you could talk about it. You know, you could talk about it like that. That's what I think. Glad I was able to blow through it, especially since this coming week, I'm basically going to be streaming nothing but Street Fighter and shows. <sighs> Supplanter97 and Super Pants AU subscribe. Thanks, guys. Poke fan subs says, hey, Pat, monthly manga recommendations. Check out Yatsuba, one of the funniest manga ever. Yeah, maybe. Swy Hunter Steve sub, thank you. Dread Snappy kicked in sub to say, this game's kind of spooky. It is. Hi, Pat, says Elite with a sub. Thank you. Kind of perturbed, gifted five subs. Thanks, kind of perturbed, oink, 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 oink pig man. man. Thank you. We're finally free of the FF7 mines. No, we're not. Fuck off. We're doing that tomorrow, you bitch. A Rodal sub, so the Maxo stream. Thank you. And kind of perturbed, kicked in two thousand bits. Says second run starts now. Probably not. I'm gonna go home, kiss baby, and probably play a little bit of Ghost of Tsushima, hang out in ancient samurai Japan and shit. All right, you guys have a good day. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys tomorrow for that FF7. Okay, bye bye now. Bye bye now. Bye bye.